We're all human beings that we have our good days and we have our bad days. One less lonely nigga. One less lonely nigga. One thing that I've had to come to the conclusion of is like trying not to feel like I owe anybody an explanation or owe anybody anything. Hailey Bieber isn't a victim like she pretends to be. She has made really foul comments on social media before. Racist, sexist, and homophobic remarks. From her Twitter, it seems like Hailey is the type of person who weaponizes Christianity and tears down other women. So let's get into it. Hailey Bieber has tweeted out some disgusting things in her past, and I'm shocked. She's really a professional when it comes to playing the victim, but we need to talk about why she doesn't have a Twitter account, because it seems like everyone's on Twitter, but Hailey Bieber isn't. Once upon a time, Hailey did have a Twitter account, but she deleted it on September 16th, 2020. She claims that she was being bullied on there, but was it bullying or the truth? And now that I think Think about it, I feel like Justin and Haley might just be a perfect match for each other. One less lonely Nick. <laughs> One less lonely Nick. <laughs> One less lonely Nick. <laughs> There's gonna be one less Nick. <laughs> if I kill you, I'll be part of the KKK. <laughs> then there'll be one less lonely Nick. <laughs> there's gonna be one less lonely Nick. <laughs> Every time I see that video, I'm just like like, it makes me like actually shake a little bit. Um, there's a person in that room laughing along and the way that he's like talking about this and like even the things that he's saying, like he's so young saying this, like where the, like where did you learn that to repeat it? And do you believe this? Because you and your wife kind of give off the vibe. Like for instance, there's a photo of a message from Hailey Bieber where she drops the N word. She writes, or whatever that ugly slur name is. There's also been times on Instagram where she replies back to her friends and she refers to them using this slur, which is completely inappropriate. But I forgot to mention that Hailey Bieber isn't white, which I can understand in some instances. It's like, okay, she's not white. She's like Brazilian or Portuguese or something like that. But she kind of is like a appearing as white. And I don't think she's able to use that type of slur. Like just because you're Brazilian, like a little bit Brazilian doesn't mean you can go and say this word. But she claims that it's awkward if someone tries to call her white because she's very much not. First thing you might notice is that not only does she swear in these tweets, she uses the N-word rather frequently in them. What's more, when someone calls her out for saying that because she's white, she responded, I'm not white though, so that's awk or awkward. To be clear, she is very white. It's kind of hard not to notice that. She also tried to sweet talk that person who called her out afterwards, so make of that what you will. So really, Hailey Bieber deleted her Twitter because she didn't want her past to haunt her anymore. But there's been a lot that has been brought up and people really understand her to be racist for what she said. Repeatedly used the N-word and called out people in the black community, including referring to Jay-Z as a monkey in a picture. Definitely not a smart thing to do because quite frankly, you don't mess with Jay-Z. The tweets go on and on and it shows a lot about her character and not in a good way because not only does this show racism, it shows a kind of arrogance and ignorance that has been going on lately in the media that we could absolutely do without. I was trying to find the tweet where Haley does refer to Jay-Z as a monkey. It wasn't necessarily a tweet that she wrote out, but she liked a picture you can see towards the bottom of Beyonce with a monkey and someone wrote Jay-Z lost weight, which is just like bad humor, but Haley thought it was funny. It's definitely not a good idea to mess with Jay-Z, but that's not all that Haley has done. She's been called out for a lot, and honestly, like I was really taken back as I was doing research on this story because I don't know if she really like covered it up or what because some people know this but I really had no idea how horrible she is. She's sexist, homophobic, clearly a racist. Let's talk about some of her bizarre tweets that I don't really understand like why she ever wanted to release these in the first place. In November 2013, Haley faced criticism yet again for posting a tweet that read, to those foreigners who 
don't celebrate Thanksgiving, so sorry your country didn't have pilgrims and Indians to start such a sick holiday. People were calling her out in the comment section as recently as January 2019, claiming that she came across racist and should delete this post. So that was a tweet that she had on her page for like six years and continued to get backlash every single year and would not remove it. And of course, she's the type to respond. She wrote on Twitter, oh, are you so tired of it? Well, let me remind you, this is a free country, America, baby. Which that isn't the worst tweet ever. I mean, like, it's fine. She's very pro-America. You do you. But this is the type of rhetoric I don't like. When she tweets out, shut up before I smack you back to your own country. Like, I identify as an American, but I also recognize that America was, like, stolen. So it's kind of like, um, like, we were, like, you weren't here first, Haley. You weren't. I'm so sorry to, like, shock you, but you weren't here first. I wouldn't even enjoy being around someone like this. And she's involved other people in some of her stupid tweets, too. Like, in 2011, she decided to tweet out because she was with her friend Cody Simpson, and they were at a Chinese restaurant, and their server wasn't Chinese. Like, isn't this such a weird tweet? With Cody Simpson and that awkward moment when you're at a Chinese restaurant and your waiter isn't Chinese, how is that an awkward moment? Like, the awkward moment. It's so, like, presumptuous to, like, think that, like, I don't know, your server has to be, like, Chinese. It's not, like, that harmful, but it's just, like, really weird that this is, like, her humor. Like, oh, what's so funny to you? Cute. These type of comments rub me the wrong way, and they rub other people the wrong way, and that's why she deleted her Twitter, because she couldn't handle the backlash she got for her tweets. Here's another one. Leaving to Florida white, but coming back to New York a different race. And then she put, like, white person and then like an Indian person, um, which like we get it, like you got a good tan, okay? There's something about celebrities liking posts on social media that do them dirty. And I get it, I mean, I like a bunch of things on social media, I don't support it all. Sometimes I'm just like saving it for later, but Haley has liked some certain posts that really have made people look at her differently. Some would say that Haley is misogynistic and that she's a woman hater, which I mean, look at the whole Selena situation and I think you've got your answer right there, but there was a post of Taylor Swift, I guess. It was a meme on a meme page and someone wrote, would you smack her for 835 billion? Um, someone said I would smack her for a sweet tea from McDonald's, which I love Taylor Swift. Do people really hate her? Comment below, because I like really liked her. And I saw she's coming out with a song with Lana Del Rey, and Lana Del Rey is like my number one. Um, anyways, Haley liked this post, which maybe she just thought it was funny and like she doesn't hate Taylor, but uh, some people do believe that she doesn't like Taylor. In 2011, she tweeted out, Taylor Swift and Harry Styles are the worst couple of 2012. It's official. So I don't know why she like is so hateful. Like, why do you tweet? Who like tweets out these things just feeling like good about it? Like, these are the type of people like where you hear creators talking about like, you know, I don't understand how people are in the comments, like talking crap and tweeting out like, you know, mean things or, you know, leaving hate and it's like well this is our there's your girl like she literally is doing exactly what all the people in the comments that like people creators complain about and what she complains about what she is complaining about nowadays like playing victim she was hateful back then i'm not exactly sure what this tweet is referring to whether she saw something online or saw something in person but she wrote yo those girls are wicked slutty which isn't very girl supporting girl like there's not a lot of girl power there which is the rhetoric she likes to push now and of course our girl is homophobic. I mean, Haley wouldn't be a true Karen if she wasn't. And there was a post on social media that wrote, let me clarify, the Bible stands against homosexuality, so I stand with the Bible. And of course, Haley liked the post and she commented, so good. So, um, I wonder if her, like, stylist and her makeup artist and her hair, like, there's gotta be someone in her inner circle who's gay, and I, like, wonder if they understand, like, that she feels this type of way. And I don't think that Haley wanted to delete her Twitter account because she wanted to, like, be free from Twitter. I think she did it because she had no other choice because all of these awful tweets were there, and I'm sure there's way more. She really tried to blame it on Selena Gomez, which I'm like, 
Selena has nothing to do with this right now. Maybe the fans went to you and then saw what you did, but like she didn't tweet those things out. There is a person named Justine Sky. I'm not entirely sure who that is, but they defended Haley on Twitter and they wrote, I was trying to be nice, but I don't care. You guys are effing weird. Stop searching for reasons to attack people in defense of your fave, especially if it's completely inaccurate. So, um, yeah, so she was defending Haley in that instance, but there's really no defending some of those things that she's said. Haley has done some press since deleting her Twitter, and she claims that she deleted it because it made her stomach sick opening the app. I'm not exactly sure who's on Haley's team, but it seems like they always have some type of rebound, reputation-saving moment when she's not looking great. And she had a psychiatrist come onto her YouTube channel where she talks about the cyberbullying she is experiencing. There is no doubt that she's being bullied online. I totally agree with this. I mean, I, I don't think that that's okay. I don't think it should ever happen to her. But like when it comes to these things in particular, the racist stuff, like that's what we're calling out in today's video. I think there is a bigger story here, but we're just touching on a little bit of the racist side. But again, I, I know that she goes through a lot with bullying, so I get it. But I think the Twitter being deleted wasn't necessarily because of all the bullying, but maybe the feedback she was getting for what she said on Twitter. Early April, she revealed that she quit Twitter because it made her sick just thinking about opening it up. The thought of even opening the app gives me such bad anxiety that I feel like I'm going to throw up, the model said in a new video on her YouTube channel with Dr. Jessica Clemens, explaining her decision to leave. Haley has a point because I don't think anyone needs to re-explain themselves over and over and over again, but has she explained herself? Because I couldn't find anywhere where she took ownership or accountability or acknowledged that those things that she wrote out on Twitter were wrong. She just deleted it and then said like, oh, Selena's fans are bullying me. Like, I'm a victim now of bullying, which you are a victim of bullying, but I just feel like this part right here is something that you could have addressed and could have like kind of closed, but she didn't. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Here's my email. If you have any other video ideas for me, you guys sent me this video idea. So if you want to hear one about Justin Bieber or some of his like toxic traits and their relationship, how like, he, I just want to, I want to talk about how Justin has been seen like yelling at Haley multiple times. And it seems like they're really not like, that happy together but let me know if you want that video or if you have any other random video ideas for me send me an email and i'll see you guys in a new video soon bye guys